So this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to add time series data um, to a video using Adobe After Effects. Uh, so to start here, um, I've got a pretty basic CSV file uh, with uh, three columns. So we've got milliseconds, depth, and temperature. This data was actually pulled from a uh, scuba diving computer, uh, specifically the Scuba Pro G2. Um, using a Mac dive and then export it to uh, Excel. Um, so what we have in column A here is your time. Uh, so basically what you want is you want your first reading to correspond with wherever the wherever you are in the video. Uh, so at about the seven second mark in the video is when um, our dive actually starts. So we start to go down at about the seven second mark. Um, I wasn't really sure how to sync these up in using After Effects. I'm sure there's a better way. Um, and just a caveat, this is pretty much my first time ever using Adobe After Effects. Um, so I'm sure there's better ways to do everything I'm going to show here, but this is the way I figured it out. Um, so what I did is I just came in and, and basically set the, the start at seven seconds. And I just added a, a row um, at the zero mark uh, for zero depth and that basically the, the temperature of the surface. Um, so once we have our data in this format, we need to convert it to a MG JSON format. So there's a GoPro telemetry extractor .com, a website you can go to. And basically you just need to take your CSV file and drag and drop it onto here. And then you will get back a MG JSON file um, that you need to save. Uh, so going from Excel, you just need to make sure you save it as a CSV file. I can drop that CSV file into this GoPro telemetry extractor.com site, and you'll get back something that looks like this. Um, don't really need to worry about it. We're pretty much uh, done with data prep at that point. Uh, so from there, you just go into After Effects and you can start a new project. Um, we do need to bring in our assets. So we need to bring in our, our video. So we're just going to bring that in, and then we also need to bring in that MG JSON file. Uh, so then we're going to take those, we're going to add them to our composition. Uh, so now we've got our video, and we've got our MG JSON file. And if you take a look at that MG JSON file, you see you have uh, data property, and then underneath that we have our depth and our temperature. Time has been hidden for us because we don't really need to mess with that. Um, so now to get this on the video. All we have to do is add a text element. Let's put it here. I'm just going to label it depth. Uh, one thing to know is it does need to be above your video so you can see it. And then you just kind of put it wherever you want. Uh, so this is actually going to be the value uh, of our depth. Um, if we want, we can, uh, we can also create um, a label as well. So this will be our label for depth. Um, and the second one here will be our value. Um, so we can expand that. And we'll see we have our text. And then we have our source text. Um, from there, we need to use the pick whip, which is this guy. A little at symbol. Looks like an at symbol. Um, and we need to drag it and tell it, OK, we want to attach this to depth value. So as you see there, it's a 0. And if we just play our video, as it moves along, uh, you can see our depth will start to, to change. So as you can see, we're getting some decimal points in there. Um, it's kind of distracting. You don't really need that level of precision. So what I did was I came in here. Um, I looked at our source text. And you can see this is the expression that it added. Uh, so it's referencing that MG JSON file. So just to get rid of those decimal points, I just added a quick math dot round. And now we have no more decimal points in there. So pretty straightforward. Uh, like I said before, there's probably some way to sync this data, this data layer. Uh, with your video so it starts at the right time uh, but I just found it easier just to add some padding in the data to do it um, 
I do want to give a quick shout out to Juan from prototyping.barcelona uh, for basically giving me the hints to go out and do this. So Juan, really appreciate the help there. Um, so once you're done, you're pretty much done here. So if you want to add your temperature, you just repeat the process. Um, and then when you're done, export. You can add to Adobe Media Encoder. It'll pop in over here, and then you just encode it. Uh, set whatever format you want. I chose uh, HEVC H265 um, because it is a 4K video from a GoPro. Um, and you're pretty much done. Hope that helps somebody.